All right, so the first thing I need to do on this front suspension is drop in all the mounting points. So on the lower control arm, I'm using those polyurethane bushings with bearing bronze sleeves for load bearing since the lower control arm is only pivoting along one axis. And I need to map out the dimensions between the upper control arm and the pivot point on the center of the chassis. And I just need to make some holes for all the hardware and figure out where the shocks are going to mount, which I'm mounting the shocks right in the center. And so I'm starting by just making a, a flat plate extruded outward, and then I'm going to cut around that. that. That's the best way to make a simple geometry like this. This is a sort of a wishbone style A-arm, and just laying it out from the top really helps me get my head around where all the dimensions are going to live and what all the mounting locations look like. And this first boss here is for the spherical bearing and the bolts that are going to hold the shocks. Then I can drop that component in and start mating it in place. Usually what I like to do is I'll make a part file for the A-arm and then I'll make a sub-assembly for that same component and attach all the hardware to that sub-assembly. It makes file management a lot simpler and it cleans up the component tree in the upper assembly. And so that front pivot point is going to be mounted on a spherical bearing and retained with a C-clip. And it's a pretty simple shape so far. So I just want to get all the component dimensions in there before I start doing any machining design to make sure that it's right. And yeah, just had to make an adjustment there. 